Hi, uh, I'm going to read for you The Snail and the Whale. Okay, The Snail and the Whale by Julia Donaldson and Axel Schuckler. Schuckler okay? The same people who wrote The Gruffalo. Okay, great, great books. Okay? So The Snail and the Whale. The Snail here and the Whale rhyme. Okay? And there's lots and lots of really great rhymes in this book. Okay? So you have to kind of read it, read it in the way that they're supposed to be read. Okay? So let's look at this as close as we can. There is a tale of a tiny sail and a great big gray blue humpback whale. This is a rock as black as soot, and this is a snail with an itchy foot. He wants to go see the world. The sea snail slithered all over the rock and gazed at the sea and the ships in the dock. And as she gazed, and she sniffed and sighed, the sea is deep and the world is wide. How I long to sail, said the tiny sail. So we're looking at the boats and the dock and stuff like that. So there's lots of great pictures in here and stuff like that too. Okay. That bird has a fish. Okay. In other pages as well. Okay. These are the other snails in the flock who all stuck tight to the smooth black rock and said to the snail with the itchy foot, Be quiet, don't wriggle, sit still, stay put. But the tiny sea snail sighed and sniffed and cried, I've got it, I'll hitch a lift. This is the trail of the tiny snail, a silvery trail that looped and curled and said, Whoa. and said, lift wanted around the world. See, there's the snail with the itchy foot writing a note. Okay. So it wants a lift. Who will give it a lift? And there's the bird with the fish. We get to meet the whale. This is the whale who came one night when the tide was high and the stars were bright. A humpback whale, immensely long, who sang to the snail a wonderful song of shimmering ice and coral caves and shooting stars and enormous waves. And this is the tale of the humpback whale. He held it out of the starlit sea and said to the snail, come sail with me. So he's getting a lift. Yay. Let's see what they can do. This is the sea, so wild and free. They that carried the whale and the snail on his tail. To towering icebergs and far off lands. With some seals, some seals. Arr, arr, arr. With fiery mountains and golden sands. The monkey's thinking, is a snail on the whale's tail? Okay. Turtles and stuff like that. And aya! These are the waves that arched and crashed, that foamed and frolicked and sprayed and splashed, the tiny snail on the tail of the whale. Dangerous, 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 dangerous. These are the caves beneath the waves where stripy fish and feathery fins, and sharks with hideous, toothy grins swam round the whale and the snail on his tail. This is the sky, so vast and high, sometimes sunny and blue and warm, sometimes filled with a thunderstorm, with zigzag lightning. Flashing and frightening the tiny snail on the tail of the whale. Scared. The snail is scared. Uh, and she gazed at the sky, the sea, the land, the waves and the caves and the golden sand. She gazed and gazed, amazed by it all. And she said to the whale, I feel so small. 
Mm-hmm. This looks like a nose. My son always tells me this looks like a nose. But then came the day the whale lost his way. Mm. See. These are the speedboats running a race, zigging and zooming all over the place, upsetting the whale with their ear splitting roar, making him swim too close to the shore. <gasps> the whale. This is the tide slipping away. And this is the whale lying beached in a bay. Quick, off the sand, back to sea, cried the snail. I can't move on land, I'm too big, moaned the whale. The snail felt helpless and terribly small. Then, I've got it, she cried, and started to crawl. I must not fail, said the tiny snail. Go, snail, go, get some help. These are the children running. Oh, I skipped a page. Ah, bad reader. Ah. This is the bell on the school in the bay, ringing the children in from their play. This is the teacher holding her chalk, telling the class, sit straight, don't talk. This is the board, as black as soot. Here's the bell, on this, the blackboard. Oh, try to read this. And this is the snail with the itchy foot. A snail, a snail, the teacher turns pale. Look, say the children, it's leaving a trail. This is the trail of the tiny snail, a slithery, a silvery trail, saying, save the whale. And here's the whale. Ah, whale, ah, whale. They're all pointing. Save the whale, save the whale. These are the children running from school, fetching the firemen, digging a pool. Squirting and spraying to keep the whale cool. Dog. Arr, arr, arr. This is the tide coming into the bay. And these are the villagers shouting, hooray, as the whale and the snail travel safely away. Yay, everyone's happy, except this little boy's crying. My friend, my friend is gone. Yeah. Oh, and I forgot the best part. Here, you can see the little boy carrying the snail. Yeah, everyone's helping everybody. Okay. Back to the dock and the flock on the rock, who said, how time's flown, and haven't you grown? See, where are all the snails? All the snails, his friends. See? Good. And the whale and the snail told their wonderful tale of shimmering ice and coral caves, and shooting stars and enormous waves, and of how the snail so small and frail, with her looping, curling, silvery trail, save the life of the humpback whale. Then the humpback whale held out his tail, and on crawled snail after snail after snail. They all want to have fun. Dun, dun, dun. Good. And they sang to the sea, as they all set sail on the tail of the gray-blue humpback whale. And there is a bird with a fish. Great story and great writing, okay? The snail and the whale. Take care. Goodbye.